Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am really excited to finally start this vlog. It's overdue. I should have started it when I started the book, but I didn't. So here we are. This is going to be a non-spoilery video, so if you are watching this and you're like, is she gonna spoil something? I'm not, so if you haven't read either of these books, hopefully I'm able to vlog me reading two books in this video. If the title has two books in it, then that means I did, but if it doesn't, then just ignore what I just said. <laughs> but I should have started this video a long time ago, but here we are. We're starting it now, so that's all that matters. So I am going to be reading Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. I am so loving this like i don't think you guys understand how incredible this book is so far i think that this is one of cassandra clare's best works honest to god and that's coming from someone who literally loved the tmi series like i feel like nothing could top that i didn't love the infernal devices but this book is just 10 times better with pretty much everything like when it comes to plot when it comes to characters when it comes to just the action and the writing this book just tops it all i wish i was joking currently i am a little bit over halfway through with this book i'm on page 295 and i believe there is like there are 582 pages in this so i'm a little bit over halfway through and i am loving this so much it's just so good on the cover of this beautiful book we have cordelia carstairs and if you didn't know this book basically just follows all of the children of the characters from the infernal devices so it's kind of confusing but the infernal devices Devices, time wise takes place first then it is the last hour series then it is the mortal instrument series and then it is the dark artifices series so I know that's confusing but just bear with me I recently read the infernal devices and I did enjoy it not as much as I thought I would I think it's honestly just because I had so many people in my ear especially on twitter and like my friends in real life telling me that i needed to read the series and that i was gonna love it so i went into it with really high expectations and ended up not loving it as much as everyone else however that did not like deter my feelings towards this book i love this book like if you can't tell from me from the last like two minutes of this video the way that cassandra claire has me shook every five seconds with this book is alarming so i'm really excited to be reading this and to be sharing my thoughts with all of you guys so whether you read this book and you are kind of just watching this video afterwards or you want to read this book and this video will get you hyped for it i'm here for it either way but before we get started i did want to show you guys what came in the chain of gold this is upside down Wait, no, it's not. What came in the chain of gold box that Simon Teen sent to me? This box was just so cool when I received it. I was like, what the hell is this? I honestly thought I was just going to get the ARC in the mail. I was not expecting anything more, but I am extremely grateful nonetheless. So currently inside the box is empty, but it came with all this little jush stuff. And it also says love cuts deeper than any blade, which is the, um, I guess like the catchphrase for this book. I don't know what it's called. It's called something, but yeah. So one of the things they sent was this massive map of London. And it also kind of just has all the important different settings in the book. So it has the Institute right there. It has the Devil's Tavern, Blackfriars Bridge, Chiswick House, Anna's Flat, Cordelia's Home, Regent's Park, the Consul's House, Hell Ruel. Um, and then it also just has like an overall map of everything. Oh, and the Tower Bridge, of course, which I just think this is so cool. And it's actually very helpful in kind of like imagining how everything looks when it's described in the book. Then next up, they sent these meet the character cards. And this basically just has artwork of all the characters as well as facts about them behind the cards. I'm going to try to like move my light so that way you can see this better. So these are some of the cards that came in the package. Um, I will introduce you to all of them right now. This is James Herondale and it has a few facts about him on the back which I will read to you right now. Basically says, name James Herondale, place of birth, London, England, hair color, black, eye color, gold, height, six foot, hobbies, reading, poetry, spending time at the Devil's Tavern with his friends, training with brother Zachariah, writing letters to Grace Blackthorne, trying not to turn into a shadow, wondering who his demonic grandparent is, sneaking glances at Lucy's manuscript in progress when she leaves it around. Favorite weapon is throwing knives, favorite book, Great Expectations, favorite place in London, The Devil's Tavern, and favorite animal, a wolf. 
So that's a little bit about James Herondale. And they basically just have that for each and every character. So here we have Lucy Herondale. And then we have Cordelia Carstairs, who is on the cover of Chain of Gold. Then we have Anna Lightwood, who we stand. Then we have Matthew Fairchild. And last but definitely not least, we have Thomas Lightwood, who might I add is 6'5", which I think is literally insane. Like, I will climb you like a fucking tree. There's also a letter from Cassandra Clare talking about the book. And then last but not least, one of my favorite items that we received in this box was this book sleeve and on the back of it it says love cuts deeper than any blade which again is like the whole catchphrase for this book and what I think is really cool about this is you can kind of see the in out, like outline of it but if you go like this it has the angelic rune which I think is so cool and I just absolutely love this I've been keeping all of my Cassandra Clare books in this because I was reading the In Front of Devices before and it fits them perfectly. I had a few people ask me if they knew where you could get these character cards and I believe Indigo Teen is doing like a box that comes with them so if you want them by any chance I'm pretty sure you have to order the box. I don't think it comes separately with them. I'm not sure where you could get the map or the book sleeve but yeah so i will update you guys later once i finally get a little bit further into chain of gold i'm almost to part two so i will update you guys as soon as i get there and i will let you know how i felt about part one as a whole it has been a few hours since i started this vlog and it is basically midnight i'm pretty sure it is midnight probably like 1 a.m now and i have not read any more chain of gold i was editing the beginning part of my vlog and i was also doing the thumbnail for it and i was also eating taco bell because we love taco bell in this household period so i think i'm going to call it a night and tomorrow i'm going to be doing some homework and then i will be reading chain of gold i'm planning on getting like probably I want to say 80% done with the book because I want to finish it by Friday and tomorrow's Thursday so I have limited time I tell you limited time to finish this it's honestly not going to be hard to finish at all though because I've been flying through it like it's so easy to read and it's so bingeable so yeah um as soon as I get to part two I swear I will update you guys on all my thoughts of part one and how I've been feeling about the characters and everything hey guys so today is Thursday I was about to say Friday girl what calendar have you been looking at I got something exciting in the mail I thought it was gonna be something else so I'm kind of sad that it wasn't but also still excited at the same time because it has to do with this video technically um I opened the package already because I am impatient as hell and I was like I'm not waiting to turn on the camera for this so the package that I got was the Waterstones edition of Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare I've been wanting this for a really long time it's so pretty I really want the Lady Midnight and the Queen of Air and Darkness edition but when I tell you those bitches are so fucking hard to find like Queen of Air and Darkness I found and it was like $80 plus shipping I was like I'm not paying that <laughs> I'm not paying $80 for a book and then Lady Midnight I literally just can't find anywhere and if I can find it it's like $230 who is go literally who is gonna pay $230 for a book not I anyways on the topic of Cassandra Clare we have some discussing to do chain of gold i got to part two finally last night i said i was gonna go to sleep but then i ended up um facetiming my Anna and we were looking at the family tree i believe for the herondale and carstairs families and i found out a spoiler about who ends up with who for one person so i was like fuck i have to continue reading because i want to see how that plays out the spoiler wasn't anything major so it's not like it's gonna affect the way I feel about this book at all. In fact, I'm actually really okay with who this specific person ends up with. But something I definitely wanna talk about is how well balanced the plot is in this book with the romance and the action. Honestly, mwah, chef's kiss done so well. As someone who literally loves romance in her books and need, pretty much like needs it in order to fully enjoy a book, which I know there's like a whole debate like whether or not you need romance to enjoy a book or not. I'm just one of those people who like romance so I want it in my books. That's not the same for everybody obviously. But I do think whether or not you like romance in your books, if you 
don't like romance heavy books this will be a good book for you and if you do like romance heavy books this will still be a good book for you because it's not overpowering the plot at all but it's still there you know if i were to compare this plot to pretty much any cassandra clare book i think this might be one of my favorite plots when i tell you guys that the plot basically picks up in the beginning of this book and it pretty much stays that way thoroughly throughout the book i love that about this i think that cassandra clare tends to be really slow with her plots like i feel like shit doesn't happen until like the 20th chapter and then finally you're like oh like that's what the conflict is she really threw that out the door um when i tell you i was shook shocked and shaken at the beginning of this i was like what the hell i love cordelia love lucy love james love matthew love anna i love all of them their friend group dynamic is also so cute i think that this has to be one of my favorite friend groups in the shadow hunter world i haven't read the dark artifices yet you don't need to read the dark artifices in order to understand this but so far from what I've read in the Shadow Hunter world, this friend group is probably my favorite just because they all kind of understand each other and they all have each other's back. There's also two characters that I'm really excited to see if they end up together. Um, I think my dad's home. Oh my God. Okay, so my dad got home and I kind of don't remember where I was. The Infernal Devices ain't got nothing. And I mean nothing on Chain of Gold. Chain of Gold just has that pizzazz that we all needed. But for now, I'm going to continue reading and I will come back and update you guys with any more things that I need to say or any thoughts that I have that come up while reading. Cue a cute montage, let's go. If you can hear my dog barking in the background, just ignore it. Okay, so I was going to like do like a cute little montage and shit, but before I even do that, I was just watching Whitney's vlog on her reading Chain of Gold, and I did want to touch on some of the things she said because they were actually pretty like accurate. She talks about how she feels as though she would have enjoyed it a lot more if she read like certain novellas beforehand or certain like reread certain parts of the Inferno Devices, and that is definitely the case with this book. So I made a list of what I personally think you should read before Chain of Gold in order to fully enjoy it to its full potential. It sucks that you kind of have to read some of the novellas in order to fully understand it. However, there is a loophole around it. You don't have to read the whole novella to understand Chain of Gold. You just have to read some of it. So I'm going to tell you what books I recommend reading before and what novellas I recommend reading before. I personally think The Infernal Devices is 110% important to read before reading Chain of Gold. The Infernal Devices are basically the parents of the people in Chain of Gold. You kind of have to read that in order to understand how these kids were raised and why they were raised the way they were. There are also some lines in the book where they talk about stuff that happened in the Infernal Devices where you wouldn't really understand if you didn't read it. So I would recommend reading that first. I would hope you have already read The Mortal Instruments. If not, you should probably get on that. One thing that I don't think you need to read is The Dark Artifices. I personally didn't read The Dark Artifices. I'm reading Chain of Gold right now and I don't feel like I'm missing anything because I didn't read The Dark Artifices. Then when it comes to the novellas, I would recommend reading Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy but not the whole thing if you don't feel like sitting through that entire book because lord knows I didn't it was like 600 pages I was like I am not doing that there are two short stories that you should read and you should pick up from Tales thank you to Brittany from Brittany the Bibliophile for literally facetiming me and helping me find these two short stories in order for me to read beforehand so Brittany told me to read the Whitechapel Fiend and the next story is Nothing But Shadows which I absolutely love that one I love that short story it started off pretty sad but I genuinely am really happy that I read it because I think that I like James Herondale a lot more and Matthew Fairchild as well because that story pretty much focuses on them and their friend group when they were really young and how they all became friends so I definitely oh there's a bug so I definitely do think that that is an important story to read as well. Then my friend Trin from Transformers, she told me there's a story from the Bane Chronicles that I should read. I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't super, super important to the plot. I read it anyways, but it wasn't anything that like I really needed. They, I think they actually did mention that story once in Chain of Gold, but it wasn't anything that I really, really had to read. But if you do want to read it and you want your Full potential to enjoy Chain of Gold, I would recommend reading it. And it is called The Midnight Air, and that is in The Bane Chronicles. I honestly hate the fact that we have to read so many books in order to understand Cassandra Clare's 
like new books that are coming out i think it's really fucking annoying but at the same time i do love the shadow hunter world so technically i can't complain so it all just depends on your mood but there i gave you guys kind of a little guide to follow if you will and let me know what order you read the series in because i'm really intrigued it's really funny how people like all kind of read the books in different orders i know i didn't read it like the most traditional order so yeah anyways i'm gonna go now Cassandra Clare said, how gay can I make this book? And we are living for it. For those of you wondering, Anna Lightwood is gay. I mean, if you couldn't tell. I just love her character. She's definitely one of my favorites for sure. And there's also a few other characters that took a different relationship route than I was expecting. And honestly, I, we just love to see it. We really love to see it. And then I also made some food because your girl was hella hot hungry but i didn't vlog any of that because i feel like most of you guys don't care but yeah there's honestly not much to really update you with chain of gold however i am starting this new adult book called fake it till you break it or something like that i don't know it's by megan brandy i will put the cover up on the screen so you can see it but my friend shrey recommended it to me and we usually like the same types of new adult books so i'm gonna start that and see how i feel about it i feel like i've just been so stuck in the shadow hunter world i kind of want to read some contemporary or new adult so that seems like the perfect option for me but yeah it is currently 9 40 right now and i did not get as far as i wanted to in chain of gold i want to see if i can make it to maybe page 450 that seems like a doable goal for tonight because i want to try to see if i can finish this book tomorrow that's the plan and yeah that's pretty much it for now um i don't really have anything else that i'm doing tonight so reading all night it is <laughs> what the f literally what the fuck oh my god okay so i look literally crazy right now because i've been like sleeping all day but i have a little bit over 100 pages left if you can't tell and i'm shook so i'm gonna try to see if i can get to chapter 20 i only have like one more chapter before i'm there and then i'm gonna take a break because lord knows i need one i'm definitely gonna vlog myself reading the last 100 pages of this because i want to catch my reaction on camera <laughs> okay so i just got a package in the mail and i on facetime with christina because she sent me something for my birthday and i'm so excited to open this so i'm gonna unbox this right now <gasps> oh my god <gasps> bitch no you didn't <gasps> oh my gosh i love you thank you she got me the a court of thorns and roses collector's edition which i have been wanting for so long and it's so beautiful like it slides out like this oh my god, it's so I'm literally obsessed with this. Like, hold up. I have to open this. <gasps> the end papers are just. Love this it. is like unreal. Hold up. Oh, I love this so much. Thank you. I wish I could give you like a hug. That was so cute. Oh 
<laughs> I finished. I fucking finished. Okay, so I've officially finished Chain of Gold and I absolutely love this. Five out of five stars all across the board. So amazing. Cassandra Clare did it again. <laughs> the way that this is set up for the next book, I'm truly just shook. I don't even know how to express feelings. I, I'm so excited for the rest of this series. I think this has to be my favorite Cassandra Clare plot. I know I've said that this entire video, but Cassandra Clare just incorporated so many different aspects of plot lines and like writing in this specific book that I love and enjoy. And I just, <laughs> I love it. I'm so excited for this book to come out. Um, I'm pretty sure by the time I upload this, it'll be only a week before the book's release. So that's super exciting. And I can't wait to hear everyone else's thoughts on this. I'm just so happy that Simon Teen sent me an arc of this book. I feel so blessed and so lucky. And I'm so grateful that I was able to read this book before it came out. I'm like, I love this so much. I can't. But yeah, I think that's it for this video. I'm going to finally end it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest. All night long, she putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest.